Hey, bon vini to Curaçao, our very own paradise in the Caribbean. We're so glad you're here today to discover the beauty that lies in the deep of our backyard. Our seas are not just part of the scenery. They're the heartbeat of our island, a source of life, culture, and pride. Fishermen depend on these waters for their daily catch, sustaining their families and the island's economy. It's more than a job. It's a way of life. The coral reefs and mangrove forests serve as natural barriers, shielding us from the fury of storms. Tourists can't resist the vibrant colors of our underwater nature, and neither can we. How amazing it is to be able to explore and enjoy the beauty of our underwater worlds right in our backyard. But did you know that just beyond our shores lies a deep and mysterious world full of weird and wonderful creatures? Curaçao is one of the few places where submarine experiences are accessible to the public. You want to check that one? And for years, scientists have also been trying to uncover these hidden mysteries. Recently, a submarine from the Inkfish expedition embarked on a daring mission, using a submersible to plunge into unexplored depths. Now, before you feel like you missed out, today we're taking you with us on this journey as we take a closer look at some of the incredible creatures that call the deep sea their home. Let's go! Did I mention it was dark? Really dark? Bear with me. Wow! We've reached a depth of around 700 meters, too deep for light to penetrate. To give you some perspective, that's about as deep as two times the height of the Christoffel Mountain, and it only took us about one hour to get down here. While we're used to the warm temperatures on the surface, down here it's about seven degrees Celsius. I bet you weren't expecting these temperatures on our warm Caribbean island, especially not when, basically, it's only 700 meters away. That's about the same distance as walking from Brionplein to Marche Noble. Now that we've arrived, Let's explore and see what we bump into in this mysterious world. What does it look there? Wow. This funny looking fish is called a tripod fish. Like most animals here, it seems to be moving a lot slower than the speedy swimmers we're used to seeing in the shallows. You see, life in the deep sea is a whole different ballgame. The pressure down here is mind boggling. In fact, for every 10 meters we dive deeper, you add another atmosphere of pressure. At 700 meters, the pressure is, well, let's say it's enough to crush most things. Because of this extreme environment and lack of light, food is hard to come by, and many critters in the deep sea move very slowly to conserve energy. This tripod fish has come up with a clever feeding strategy it has three elongated fins that can grow up to a meter in length, and it uses them like legs to stand on the ocean floor, kind of like a camera tripod, which is why it's called the tripod fish. <laughs> Instead of chasing after their prey, they patiently stand, waiting for their prey to come to them. Tripod fish don't have good vision, but their pectoral fins and long legs act as antennae that can feel vibrations in the water column. Once it senses something tasty nearby, he snaps. And here's the twist. The tripod fish is what we call a hermaphrodite. That means it has both male and female reproductive organs. So if a tripod fish doesn't happen to bump into another tripod fish for a little romance, no problem. They can take matters into their own fins and create a new generation all by themselves. It's just one more example of how nature's creatures have found unique ways to thrive in this challenging environment. While cruising around the deep in the submarine, we've come across a truly enchanting creature. My personal favorite at these depths because of how cute it is. Meet the Dumbo octopus. 
This endearing cephalopod is named after an old cartoon about a baby elephant with ears so big it used them to fly. But for this little guy, those aren't ears, they're fins. Unlike most octopuses that rely on jet propulsion to move, the Dumbo octopus uses its fins to playfully glide through the water, depending on its umbrella-shaped webbed tentacles to catch worms for dinner. These are the deepest living octopuses known. And unlike its ink-squirting relatives in the shallows, this clever guy has abandoned its ink-squirting mechanisms, as it wouldn't be much use in the pitch-black depths anyway. While I would love to look at this cute octopus all day, they're well acclimated to highly pressurized environments and wouldn't survive if brought to the surface in man-made tanks. Perhaps a good reminder that nature is at its best when we simply let her be. Now, as we move from the adorable to the unignorable, allow me to introduce you to one of the more peculiar critters down here, the headless chicken monster. Yeah, we know. Sometimes it's also called a Spanish dancer or bailador, which makes a lot of sense when you see the elegance with which it moves through the water column. These creatures can be found as deep as 1,000 meters and are actually swimming sea cucumbers. You might be familiar with their cousins in shallower waters, where they peacefully sit on the ocean floor. Unlike the sea cucumber, the headless chicken monster has a translucent body, revealing its digestive tract. They feed by touching down on the ocean floor, where they mostly eat sediment, grabbing it with their tentacles and pushing it into their mouths. They need to eat a lot because there's not a lot of nutrition in sediment. Flip side, CR3. Another inhabitant of the sea floor is the pancake urchin that kind of looks like an anemone. These remarkable creatures are deep water specialists, which means that they live deep, really deep, ranging anywhere from 200 meters down to a staggering 6,000 meters below the surface. Remember the pressure we described at 700 meters? That's nothing compared to what these guys withstand at 6,000 meters. The pancake urchin is one of the unsung heroes of the ocean floor. They burrow deep, which aerates the sediment down here, ensuring the ocean floor remains habitable for other marine life. So next time you're thinking about ocean heroes, don't forget about these humble pancake urchins, quietly doing their part to maintain the balance of life in the deep sea. Unfortunately, we also see that even the deep sea isn't spared from human impact. As we look around, we find evidence of human waste reaching all the way to these depths, an important reminder of our responsibility to respect the natural world. Now, it's time for us to head back to the surface, but let's not forget the invaluable lesson we've learned from our underwater friends. These deep sea stars have shown us that even in the darkest depths, life finds a way a testament to the incredible diversity of our seas. Here's a surprising fact for you. We actually know more about the surface of the moon than we know about life in the deepest part of our seas. These critters are just a small part of the amazing life in our oceans. It's just such a crazy view, eh? Mm -hmm. With our beautiful coast now in sight, Remember that our deep seas are just a small distance away, filled with unknown wonders. So whether you're exploring in person or joining us through this video, right here in our backyard, the secrets of the deep await our exploration. Stay curious and let's continue to marvel at the secrets of our island's deep blue heart.